whoa, mind blown, right? You can like take this huge like microscope that's typically like the size of a desk and then super miniaturize it and put it on a mouse's brain of all the animals and stuff. Once they find it and sample it, perhaps they just can decide, okay, this is a good place, so I should slow down, I should dwell on the food, I just eat enough, and then once I'm not hungry anymore, I can start moving again. So there's like a high trend. The last few years was, could we actually identify, out of all those 400 plus, 500 genes associated with autism and neurodevelopmental disease, which ones interfere with this process of interneuron migration? 